Happy birthday in a home on Hill Michael. Thank you very much. That was just one minute to celebrate you. Um, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hello, Michael and Nahum. Hope you're going to have a great day in whichever way you you celebrate it. So then I just let's continue before. Um, I think there are still some people to, sh to come. But any announcement from the academy team? If not, then um, just need to launch the instances in case you guys are needing them. Um, so in, in the meantime, so how did it, how was last week? So what were one highlight and you know one no didn't go didn't go well because of something anyone want to start while i'm trying to set up or at least um for you to be able to access it again your instance in case you need it for your presentation Yep. Uh, I, uh, okay, uh, good morning everyone uh, and happy birthday to Nahum and Hila Mikhail. Uh, I just want to say like uh, last week was great, like we were um, collaborative, like we, we had a meeting like every day, um, even on Saturdays too. And on some days we had two meetings, and our biggest blocker was uh, like internet and electricity issues. Like almost most of us didn't have like electricity on, on the night time, especially after midnight. And uh, in my case, like came, like till the next day afternoon, and that was really the, a huge issue for us. And yeah, electricity and the internet was the major blockers we have faced. I just want to point out that. But in terms of projects and, you know, the rest was okay. Yeah, it was okay. Like everybody was collaborative and everybody like somehow take tasks. So if, if I'm not there to some, to do my tasks, uh, somebody will uh, take over, and I will do the same too. So th that was uh, a nice one. Okay, anyone else to share? Hi, uh, uh, yeah, Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, it starts usually as weaker, but then we okay, can okay. we can hear you afterwards. Okay. Uh, last week was uh, the problem was interesting, and uh, my teammates were very collaborative, and uh, we had a great week. Uh, and our blocker was uh, everything was uh, going fine until the last day, and uh, every part of the code, every every team member built uh, its own code, and um, in the last minute, uh, it was difficult to integrate. Uh, so I, so we uh, integrated some parts, but uh, it's it's a still. Uh, we ha we still have uh, left with uh, some unintegrated code, but uh, overall uh, the problem was good, and uh, yeah, we had a great week. 
Wonderful. Okay, Josias. Yes. yes, good morning. Mm -hmm. um, last week was not good on our sides because uh, everyone was not engaged and we did not have enough communication. Uh, it's like everyone were busy. Mm -hmm. Before last week, it was the case, but especially last week, uh, it's like uh, we were not available for the project and we were only for trying to trying to work on the tasks. But from Wednesday, it's like uh, we did not really do it. So especially last week was a very low week for us. And I think that we did not do really good for the project. So that is what I wanted to share. Um, hello. Hello. Uh, okay, great. I am just um, trying to set up before. So I'm going to start from group one. And then what I would like today is just that thanks for all of you that who shared your you know, kind of your views of last week. So let's go to the presentation team by team. But I would like if the team leads or whoever is speaking invites another person to speak as well, just quickly on, on element they have that, like, you know, what, give them one minute to basically describe in detail, just with some passion, um, you know, how, how did they do it? Or just participatory within your group instead of just only one person talking. It's okay if one person is talking, but I would really encourage if more people talks um, within a group. So let's start from group one. Um, Um, can you do? Yeah. Slightly. Yeah. Um, I'm really sorry, but can we do this on the next group? We have we are having some okay. talks sure. in the Slack and maybe. Okay. So let's do to group two. If you don't mind, group two. Hello. One from group two, yeah. Uh, or maybe who, who can go first? It's just. I will go first and I, somebody will go next. Which group are you? Um, just look. Uh, come Which again? group are you? From group two. We're from group two. Okay, go on. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. Just to describe what I've done and what I've con contributed. Uh, I was working on the backtesting engine and also the hunting part. Uh, for the backtesting engine, my tasks were to to develop like a, a proper pipeline that is reusable for, for uh, any of the indicators we implement in the future or in the uh, or the imp the indicators that are implemented in the past week also. So my main task was to make it somehow reusable and also robust. Uh, we used a vector vector BT uh, for backtesting, and for the front end part, we used React. So like all the requests are handled using Axios, uh, not. Uh, already built in one not page but axios and after that we just tried to put it together by using so for the other the other members 
worked on the other things for example yeah. the data design can, can you guys present something like is there any yeah thing i you thought you were you were you said like uh, just instance error now instance jupyter hub and everything else is working okay yeah we can let me just start the server i'm just logging in so everyone also just know that so get prepared Yeah. So, uh, while I'm running the server, anybody from my group can go on and they can explain their task in a minute. And I'll Gideon, jump in. Yeah. Okay. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, we do. Okay. So I'm from group two and I was in charge of uh, building the backend and also integrating Kafka producers and consumers into our code. So the our backend will will have we used Flask to implement our backend, and it handles all the requests coming from the front end, and we used uh, Kafka to stream our requests and also stream our results back to the front end, and we had like a a service in in the middle that will be used to listen to requests coming in and check if a, if a specific request. Or a specific data bug test scene already exists in our database, and just returns that that result instead of running a new a new bug test. Uh, and if that if a specific result doesn't exist in our database, it will just run a new bug test and use Kafka to stream the data. So that's just a short description of what I've what I've worked on last week. Okay, Adiat. So, um, uh, since we are waiting for not new, for me, what I worked on was um, sampling, sample back testing on two indicators. So, I did some sample on the two, on the 10 coins on two indicators, which not new got to implement into the pipeline using vector BT. I also implement the AWF. Uh, Apache Airflow, uh, Apache Airflow, which send automated uh, generate uh, automated randomly generated parameters and indicators to the pipeline to test it, so that we can have more more results on the more results on the data on the database, which can get pulled if it already exists. Excellent. And and how was it like overall? Like how new things were and how happy you are now that it's over? Like, you know, what have you learned or the amount and then the feeling of learning? Was that are you getting the hang of it? Like this is again for everyone, just whoever like within that team, I'm just asking. Okay, yes, um, um, for this project, uh, yeah, I'm not sure it's like I'm happy it's ended because we have a lot of things we wish we could uh, implement more. But yes, it's it's a very good learning experience. The backtesting and how traders go about it, how they use multiple indicators to to overlap multiple indicators just to, just to validate their strategy. It's a good learning experience. And the VectorBT package is, is a very good one too. It requires uh, less code, even though it takes some things by default. Great. Natnaya, is it ready? I'm having uh, uh, an issue starting the server. That's why I'm taking so long. Which, which server? Is, is it from our side or is it? It's from our side. We have already sent. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure why the service is not starting. Okay. It's so maybe more... let's continue and then we can. Yeah. Um, okay. So anyone ready to talk about their work? Any other group?
Emanuel. Hello, good morning, guys. Morning. So, uh, what uh, we did first was uh, trying to understand what uh, the business overview is and uh, learn some uh, of the outcomes that we are supposed to produce. Uh, so, uh, a startup, some startup wanted to uh, make it simple for everyone to enter the world so the world of cryptos so uh, it also wants to give investors a, rel a reliable source of investment while uh, lowering the risk associated with uh, trading cryptos uh, so what we tried to implement was a large uh, trading data pipeline that will uh, ease this problem uh, in data uh, we can uh, we can retrieve a number of data points that uh, Yahoo Finance and Binance provide, which we opted for the uh, Binance data set. And uh, for this project, we, we built a simple gate data utility using Node.js that uh, extracts or retrieves uh, from Binance API according to the uh, time frame and uh, starting and ending time points you provide it on its uh, configuration file. Uh, we we have put the how to use that uh, utility uh, on our uh, repo uh, and uh, we, we used some data engineering tools etl tools um, apache kafka in uh, in order to uh, make a reliable data flow pipeline um, apache airflow uh, we used it for uh, the scheduling and orchestration of data pipelines uh, and workflows uh, aws rds uh, it's a, a database engine. We used it to store uh, machine learning ML runs and uh, its artifacts together with backtest results associated with a specific user uh, and a bucket in S3 to store a data leak containing elements like uh, junk K line data downloaded from uh, candlestick, candlestick data. And uh, finally, React and Flask API for front end and back end development. Mm we will demonstrate after uh, this short presentation. So to conclude, uh, we designed uh, and built a reliable large scale training data set, even though it's for educational purposes. Um, and even though it's not fully completed, it takes a scene to run back tests as uh, per user's requirement and pass it through its backing in the back test engine and return a result to an authenticated user. Mm -hmm. We gain a good data engineering knowledge using Apache in Databricks tools um, as we created um, and maintained an Apache Kafka cluster. And as we work with Airflow, apply structured streaming to process streaming data um, and uh, finally build data pipelines and work uh, orchestration workflows. Uh, so that, that, that is briefly what we've been doing and uh, we'll have a demonstration uh, of the of the wave up. Firstly, I think Michael will do that. Go, go. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, go on, Michael. Hello. Hi. Can you see my screen? Yes, we do. Yeah. Uh, last week we have been trying to uh, work on different modules of the project, and uh, we have even even though we haven't complete uh, completely uh, figured out and uh, uh, arranged the pieces in their in their places, uh, we have. Uh, then different uh, we have worked on different uh, modules of the project uh, so my task was to uh, to provide some uh, front-end uh, interface for the uh, uh, Mela crypto engineering uh, project so I think uh, this is uh, what I've uh, tried to achieve it will have a user login and uh, 
uh, sign up if the user does not have uh, uh, an account. Uh, we haven't, uh, since in the group, we have uh, no one who is uh, with a little bit of uh, further experience with uh, backend development. We have been uh, highly struggling with uh, connecting the front end with the back end. Uh, however, we uh, have some pages where the user can sign up and log in. Also, uh, we have uh, thought or we have uh, think uh, we have put it like this to for the user uh, to create some scene. And uh, using this button, uh, we have assumed that. Uh, the user will send uh, some uh, scene for the uh, for the Kafka so that the backtest, uh, backtesting engine could be able to uh, fetch from it and uh, run some backtests on the provided settings or provided by using the provided configuration. And this page right here will be uh, uh, the place where the user can see for previous uh, backtests and uh, this is not much I know uh, but uh, this is what uh, we have tried to do last week thanks okay um, so from group two is there anything from back end you are able to show yeah, we have found the most of the issue. Sorry? We have fixed our issue and we can... Okay, yeah, that, but you are group, which group are you? You are group one? No, group No, group two. Ah, group two, okay. Uh, so this is also group two, like, so continue, no, yeah. No, the, so, the, the previous one was the group two. Okay, so Michael, in which group are you? I'm group four. Uh, group four okay so let's finish in group four and then we'll get back to get group two so um anyone from group two that can show us the back end like even if it's not integrated okay Gideon? uh so you just want should i just present the back end code yeah, sure. Like, so just to, so are you, are you in group four or are you in group two? Yeah, it's, I'm from group two. Yeah, let, let, let's just wait. I'm just much more complete because the group, group four has presented and let me just, let's complete that one so that we don't take more time later. So is there from group four who would like to show the back end, you know, the attempt that you guys did. I think the front end looks good, but could we see anything from the back end? Okay, wait me for some. Let me open. Okay. Okay. Then in that case, let's go to group two, and then group two, whichever way you can demo. Um. Yeah. So Natnail and Gideon, and others. Okay, let me share my screen. It's visible? Yes, it is. Okay. So this is our homepage the, for the our clients would face. Um, the future plan is to add some interactive um, interactive UI here. And after that, the a user can log in and let's dem demonstrate from the register. So let's this and let me change my email. Now we can log in. And after the log a successful login, we will see the screen and we just uh, here is the, the, the form they can create a backtest. So here is they can add 
they can select a coin and the future the another future plan we have is to add as much as much coin as possible but we still can it's it still will work but just the form just contains two that's uh, the the problem and the for for the indicators part we managed to implement two indicators the b band and the sma and after that we put some initial cash here let's put some cash and after that we selected it so let's just august to and also we have we, we somehow there are plenty of parameters for indicators but currently the parameters are not bind to the indicators we just formed a general parameter that have the that, that are common in all indicators for example initial cash start date and end date so we, we will hit run and after that it will run the backtest and save the old um, produce what what the backtest has to produce to kafka and also save to the database and after that yeah, we will see it might take a few seconds It, it it always takes too much while it's trying to produce somehow is that I don't know where is, is that it's because going. it's running the the backtest itself or is it, it getting it from the database it's running the backtest itself since we have it's a new that i'm picking why, in. why don't you give it just exactly for demo purposes always almost always give it the one that that is exactly. just run yeah okay and after that, almost we, always just do, yeah. use use something that is faster because okay. people, people trust you already or history if you can just show you can show just history if that was yeah. available yeah now it's it's successfully created the backtest the problem was it didn't publish the actually to kafka and the history we can see the current run and this was the run i think okay. yeah this was the actual the backtest result. I don't know why it's giving me this, but let me show let me show real quick like the previous test we did exactly. on some absolutely it's almost always better okay. that way sometimes. Reliable you can just say like yeah, people register that, I can log out and then now I can show you. Okay, I have like, with this account we have, we have created some tests. Yeah, this one is for the BTC from start date from October 13 up to October 15 using this initial cache. This was the previous test. Yeah. Okay. yeah, this is our demo so far. Okay, and what did you use Redis for? for uh, we used it for the sessions purpose but I, I just commented out all the lines the service wasn't running i don't know why okay but that's good so you you are using the redis cache for yeah. session management yeah good and did you also look at you know uh, airflow also uses redis so it's good then to learn how they use it and you know what makes you know, kind of borrow something from them oh. as well. Or yeah, yeah, just uh, it's good. Okay. Thank you. Uh, anyone want to add from group two? Okay. If not, then let's go to another group that is ready. Now, now you can go. On. Uh, 
Hello. Uh, good Hi. morning. Uh, my mic was muted. Uh, okay. I was saying I prepared uh, as a presentation. Uh, cool. I'll share uh, my screen. Yeah. Is it coming? It is, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's so. Uh, let me just start from the business need. So, uh, our client is because Mela and uh, it's a startup. Uh, that's do, do one that to make it with the slideshow because okay. it's usually Sorry. yeah, it's better that way. No worries. Okay, so Mela is trying to make the order of cryptocurrencies easy and simple for everyone. Uh, it wants to give investors uh, a reliable source of investment uh, and uh, by trying to lower the risks associated with uh, trading in cryptocurrencies, uh, it, pro it tries to provide a backtesting uh, uh, mechanism and it, it already had uh, made or prepared the strategies with some indicators so this is the general workflow uh, mela is trying to uh, implement so the front end uh, will provide a form which a user enters uh, parameters uh, and those parameters are uh, received by a flask bucket to use the flask for the bucket and the flask uh, will produce uh, the same parameters into a Kafka topic. So those uh, things are going to be stored here. And uh, after that, the bus, the back test uh, engine will subscribe to a topic and uh, runs the tests, which are uh, which uh, the front end uh, the user provided, and uh before uh, producing the results into the topic checks if a topic is already uh, if a topic already exists and if it doesn't it creates a new topic uh it also checks the things uh, it receives if it exists in a database uh, and if it, it if they already exist uh, it will uh, receive those uh, since the, the results that were already run and it will uh, send it to the kafka topic and the flask backend will receive the results and uh, bring it to uh, sorry bring it to the front end so this is uh, we use their flow to automate all this task like the uh, the back end will, uh, the scenes will be uh, into the back trader. Uh, e Sorry. Uh, let me drink some water. My own sort of So excuse me for that. Uh, Airflow automates the tasks yeah. of inserting data uh, to databases and also streams them to the Kafka uh, topic. And the streamed back test uh, results uh, will then be consumed by a flask, the Flask app, and they are going to be uh, returned to the users. So that's for me. Thank you. Right, and uh, Highland Kale will uh, show the demo. Okay, okay uh, before the demo part, uh, let's hear from uh, all of our group mates. And uh, can you start Wangui? Hello. 
Okay. Um, so as Nahom has mentioned, uh, this week uh, we were working on a couple of different areas uh, to do with creating the app. Um, I was involved in um, coming uh, coming up with the Kafka connector, which um, I did not fully manage to do. So we used um, Kafka consumers and producers to manage the topics. Um, and it, each topic was um, a strategy that um, a strategy for backtesting and I believe we had uh, four strategies, the simple moving average, the on balance volume, the RSI strategy, and I think the do oof, um, uh, another strategy um, and uh, Jin Rose will, will talk about the RSI strategy. Um, okay, hello, good morning. <coughs> so good morning. I worked on the RSI strategy for back testing and I'll share my screen a bit. Um, okay, so this is RSI. I used the back trader package and luckily it has a lot of strategies and methods of feeding data to the back trader. Uh, so first of all, we implemented RSI from the package and then access the data from our CSV file. After feeding the data to Cerebro, um, there we could be able to use the metrics that were also provided by Backtrader. Um, so I faced some blockers. I didn't understand why the results were none or like for sharp ratio, it was none. And for the return values, they were all producing zero. Uh, the, the return values I was able to implement using Pyfolia. It's another package that it's inbuilt inside Backtrader. I was also able to find the number of trades, which again was zero. So most of the data, the results were zero and I didn't understand why, but at the end, the plot that it generated uh, at least showed something. And yeah, that's all from me. Right. I mean, it's most of the time, it's uh, these things are expected um, in a way that there might be the, the data you fade or the time it is given um, might not, but you know, at least you, have, you went through the process and that's good. Azaria can tell you more about what could it be. Azaria, do you, do you have any? Feeling. Okay. Okay. So let's go. Is there another team member who's going to be talking, or maybe we're going to the demo? Yeah. Uh, Mohammed uh, will be talking. Yes. Good morning. Morning. So um, basically, um, my task was uh, preparing uh, airflow to orchestrate the flow of uh, the work. And uh, I will show you, um, I can't uh, load the, uh, the airflow uh, from the instance, but I will show you a um, couple of pictures that I took uh, from the airflow UI. So, Uh, as I said uh, before, uh, my task was airflow, and um, I, I I was assigned to uh, to integrate uh, Kafka with airflow and the database. 
and also to integrate um, the back trader so that it could be uh, triggered by a flow. I think. Let me share all my screen. Can you see my screen? No. But now, now yes. Yes. So um, uh, this uh, this was uh, the Airflow uh, UI. So basically, I had uh, uh, three tasks, uh, which is one. Uh, the first one is uh, to load the data, and the second one is to load the data to ta to database, and the last one. Uh, to stream data to Kafka. So I uh, I was to, about to add uh, a fourth uh, task, which is integrating data, uh, which is integrating Airflow with uh, Backtrader, but uh, we faced some blockers and um, uh, due to the amount of time, we connected the Backtrader uh, with the backend directly. And uh, this was the diagram table creator, insert data, and to stream uh, data to Kafka. So um, this was uh, the loaded data in uh, the database, in Postgres database. Great. Okay. Uh, now let's go to the demo. Uh, our uh, homepage looks like this. Uh, and uh, so we're we not we are not seeing anything from you oh okay sorry let me share my screen first okay what about now yeah we can see okay uh, this is the home page so uh in the home page we have a registration page uh and in the registration uh, since I have an account, let me just log in. So uh, let me put my email and my password. So uh, our uh, first page looks like this. Uh, and in the navigation bar, we have two uh, two links. The first one is the bug trader and the bug test. These are, uh, we tried to implement using two libraries in the backend, uh, in the back test. Uh, so that's why uh, we uh, we put two different uh, links uh, and the two has different outputs. Uh, so uh, let me just uh, fill the form and uh, try to find the output. Uh, actually, everything uh, we didn't finish automating everything. So I put text file between the bug test and the, the bug in. So I, I'm reading from the test file. Yeah, uh, this was my task. Uh, I should have done more, but let me just present as it is. So uh, in, in this one, let me uh, put the name of the data. It will download from the the Yahoo Finance. So uh, we implemented the SME cross strategy. So from the cash, since uh, we are using Bitcoin, let me start with 1 million. So the commission 0 0.001. So when I click submit, this is from the back test. So it gives me the outputs like a start date, in the date, in the duration, exposure time, equity final, equity peak, by end hold return, sharp ratio, maximum drop down, and like other uh, other uh, outputs that helps uh, the investor to decide uh, anything. So at the end, uh, we have a plot. Uh, it's not implemented yet. Uh, it, in the back end, it works, but we didn't bring that from uh, to the front end. So uh, let me show you also the bug trader algorithm. Uh, the first, the previous one 
was from the bug test. So uh, let me use same uh, data. So uh, this one, ha this has a little output uh, than the previous one. So this is uh, our demo. Uh, thank you very much. Excellent. Okay. So, and, and how does it, like, just, how does it happen as you saying, what is the architecture? Is that now it's get published, like, and then Airflow is picking up? How, how, do, how do you get it fast? Actually, uh, I'm, uh, for the demo purpose, I just put a text file between the Kafka and the, uh, the backend and uh, I'm working on my local machine. That's why uh, it's fast, okay. but uh, when it's implemented, it will be a little bit slow because uh, there is a network between uh, our machine and the instance and also the bug test will be run and we will do uh, tasks from their flow. So uh, it will okay. be a little so bit Even slow. in your local case, have you implemented the database? Like is there or is it just reading from a text file yeah uh, for the outputs are just from the text file but uh, everything is the the user and uh, we implemented the database for that okay and it, have you was it saved do your group save like the back tests like already when it's run was it somehow in some way in a database the bug test, the bug test yeah, like so when, yeah, the outputs where they published at least in some way integrated in the code that they published it and, you know, somehow it was written to a database. Uh, was there actually, a search, a search? So because the main, the main part of this, this project in principle is just that you are able to run and put it in a database and then from a database you can return when it is, um, you know, when when you are ready or basically when when it's requested mm -hmm. is that part implemented no no actually that was my part i uh, didn't finish that yeah no it's okay okay, okay. great thanks yeah. anyone else anyone from any so so we've heard from group did we hear from so group one are you able so michael that's group four. Yeah, uh, it's group four, and uh, uh, I'm, I will be showing uh, a basic uh, uh, backend we have been trying to implement. Yeah, go on. So, as I mentioned earlier, we. <coughs> uh, we were uh, lacking uh, some backend experience as a group but we have been uh, uh, trying to study and learn about what backend uh, development with flux uh, flask looks like and uh, having some text uh, data which is statically uh, uh, encoded here in the back test uh, in the backend or in the uh, uh, backend script we have been able to see like uh, we have been able to assume or we have been able to mimic what it will be supposed to be like and we have some uh, <coughs> http uh, endpoint that ends with this slash backtest and slash backtest uh, id which refers to the id of uh, a particular backtest and uh, uh, after running it, we have been uh, uh, able to return the uh, the, uh, the JSON which is uh, defined here uh, in the uh, by referring to uh, its HTTP address uh, on the local machine. So this isn't much, but this is what uh, we have tried to study and try to come up with, uh, and it means uh, somehow future scaling but uh this is an update from my side good 
And, and is your group worked in connecting to Kafka? I mean, I was expecting, was there any connection to Kafka and then all of these pieces, you know, airflow and stuff? Because that, that was not new, only Kafka is new. Writing Doug in airflow is not new to many. So, Andernet, are you from the same group, group four? No, I'm from group five, so okay. that was... Let, let's just yeah. finish and then, um, okay. What, what, what was, was there no, was, you know, who attempted that part, like the airflow and all that, Emmanuel? Yeah, so, uh, you try to write, uh, an airflow duck, uh, 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 it is it, uh, we named it a Baptist scheduler, uh, and uh, it uh, defines a function that uses a base model uh, upon uh, continuously running the data engine daily. Uh, and yeah, we managed to uh, one, uh, to write a DAG, one DAG that uh, schedules Baptists on a flow. Okay, so. Clearly, there is certain, like, I mean, either you haven't presented your work, or I see that the amount of work that went in doesn't justify, uh, the front end absolutely was good. But given that you, you guys are five, the number of things then you were able to take care of, either you haven't presented, so that maybe it just is a presentation issue, or it doesn't justify the number of people there um and the work amount do you you know can you evaluate yourself like what 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 was it was there an issue with respect to like how the group worked do all people participate i mean <coughs> yeah uh uh, all people uh, in the group have been trying to participate. Uh, uh, if it wasn't for some brokers they have been having locally, some of us, uh, someone from us was having some problems which are personal issues and others. Uh, we commonly share the electricity and uh, network connection problems. However, uh, the, my task was uh, to come up with the front end, so uh, I believe I have done that, and some uh, parts of the puzzle are still missing, but uh, we have uh, at least tried to come up with something. Okay, okay. Um, let's go to group five. Internet. Oh, sorry, I was on mute. I didn't. I just, let me share my screen. Is it visible? Can you see it? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, so uh, our pro project for this week is uh, for our client called Mala. Uh, it is a crypto trading engineering uh, company. So uh, this is uh, the outline of my presentation. So. First, we're gonna take a look at the business need, tool system architecture, flowchart, data bit design, front end, back end, and future work. So uh, let's start with the business need. So um, oh, there is a typo. <laughs> so for the typo. The, basically, what we're doing uh, for this project is. Uh, providing a Baptist platform for crypto trading. 
So Mala is a, a startup that wants to make it simple for everyone uh, uh, to enter to the cryptocurrency. So it will it uh, gives in investors a reliable source of investment while lower, uh, lowering risk associated with trading cryptocurrencies. Uh, it, it wants to uh, do that by uh, pr pr providing a uh, a reliable backtesting platform. So our uh, project or our purpose is to create a, a robust uh, system that could handle these tasks. So uh, the, t the tools and data we used uh, uh, are, are uh, the tools are uh, mainly Apache Kafka, Apache Flow, AWS, RDS to uh, manage our relational database. Now, we use, uh, of course, Postgres database uh, and MLflow. The data, uh, most of like uh, most of the data are uh, structured uh, in this uh, manner. So the description of the columns is uh, here as follows. So there are dates, highs, lows, close, adjusting close, and volumes. Uh, so uh, the date basically represents the opening in the uh, the open uh, the date interval or the opening the end date and the high and the low uh, the the specific date uh, where the uh, this price is like uh, present so the high and the low is also like the highest and the lowest price and closing price is the price that is uh, closed uh, with or like uh, the the price that end the trade like at that particular date. So uh, these are like the volume is also like the measure of the number of traded on the stock contract traded uh, and the system architecture. We uh, The system architecture we've designed, we have a two iteration of this system uh, architecture. In the first iteration, uh, uh, so like this is the one we submitted in our interim submission. Uh, and the second one is the one that we stick to to uh, in our like final uh, submission, uh, but in the first iteration, we uh, basically uh, plan to use React at the front end and uh, Flask at the back end. And uh, in the front end, we uh, show the back trading results, and we also allow users to enter uh, uh, to enter ranges uh, indicators, basically, or their specific scene. Uh, by providing data ranges, indicators, and indicator parameters. And we used uh, uh, our Flask API to uh, produce and consume the, to the Kafka uh, cluster by uh, publishing a topic scene when, whenever a, a user enters a new, uh, or whenever a, a user requests uh, a backtest by providing the date range and indicators and indicator params. And also uh, the, the, uh, the Flask API also like consumes the scene result topic that is uh, uh, from the Kafka cluster. So uh, when the user here, when, oh, sorry, when the user, uh, when the new topic is published by the backend uh, or the Flask API, our, uh, our DAG in Airflow will check if the, so is subscribed to the this topic and will check if uh, the scene already exists and if it exists, uh, it, it does so by uh, querying the database and if it if it exists, it will directly publish it to the Kafka uh, uh, to this uh, Kafka topic. Then the uh, the Flask API consumes that topic and present it to the user and. If, the, if it doesn't uh, exist, then it will run the backtest and uh, uh, it will run the backtest and save the scene result in the database and also like publish it to Kafka uh, class, uh, Kafka topics. So, uh, so the, you, the Flask uh, API also like consumes that and provide it to the front end. And uh, we're, we're also like, uh, uh, we also plan to integrate the machine learning training to be like made to be scheduled uh, to run and we also we uh, try 
we plan to uh, train the model by uh, getting the data from the our data warehouse or our database. And uh, through our trading bots, we uh, provide the uh, trading uh, strategy for the user. Uh, the second iteration uh, is uh, like we, we decided to use this second iteration of system architecture because we uh, we got introduced uh, about the topic called uh, about the concept or a system or approach called Kafka connectors. So it was uh, presented, I think, on uh, Thursday. So it was presented by Edidia, and we find it very uh, uh, useful and. It's, it is also in the series in the standard to uh, connect between the data sync and data sources uh, in uh, like Kafka based architecture. So uh, we we tried to implement that. So uh, basically this, uh, sorry, basically this uh, in this uh, approach, what is like changed is that the, instead of like doing all the checking or like saving the data and everything. Uh, like in the previous one, we used Airflow to do Airflow DAX to do everything. Uh, but in here, uh, we use the Kafka connector to uh, fetch. So uh, basically, uh, the uh, the backend we, we decided to use Node.js backend, uh, and uh, the data flow is uh, similar for, for in the first one, but. Uh, Whenever the the backend uh, publishes a new topic uh, to to run like a back test, uh, our like data first our database checks uh, and like provide the result the result if it exists, but if it doesn't exist, it's just uh, uh, published to that topic, and our back test runs and write it to the database. But our Kafka connector fish data from the source and uh, the source connector fish data from the source and publish it to uh, the topic. And it's also like listen and do transformation as well. So like we, we did that by providing a, a configuration about the database schema, the tables, the database address and uh, topic to listen to. Uh, this is the general, like the one that we stick to. So uh, the system flowchart, uh, this is uh, just the general uh, system flowchart. We didn't go in depth uh, in like uh, showing the system, uh, but like generally the user uh, get authenticated. So we check if the user is logged in or not. So if, if he's not, uh, they will be prompted to log in or sign up. And if they're authenticated, they can either navigate to uh, the, the results page or uh, enter their uh, scenes or indicators and check uh, we uh, after they did that the back end basically checks the cache and query the database um, and uh pro run so it, it query the database and uh, if it is if it doesn't exist it's run the, the back test and provide it to display the result uh to the front in the front end but if it didn't run, so it will, uh, I, I mean, uh, if it is new, it will run and like display it. If it already exists, it directly go and display it. Uh, our database design basic uh, has four entities, basically. So the backtest matrix, the scenes, these are the tables, the backtest the back matrix, the scene indicators, indicator, indicator parameters, and user, user stable. So uh, this is what our ARD looks like. We have a user stable. So the user stable uh, contains this information. It also have a relationship between one to many relationship between backtest metrics. Basically the backtest metrics are the run or the results of uh, uh, our like backtest. So the user can have one or many uh, Backtests so, and uh, the backtest also is uh, depend uh, depends on or has like uh, a scene. So mini backtest has uh, a single scene. It could have a single scene, and this scene also uh, has many indicators. And one indicator can have 
uh, mini indicator parameters. So uh, the front end. So in the, in the front end, we use React.js, a JavaScript for, uh, framework, front end framework to implement the front end feature. Uh, the front-end features like uh, user authentication, back, back testing, index, funding por portfolio, and user profile. And he's, uh, here is like a screenshot of our uh, front-end. Uh, this is uh, the interface to uh, uh, enter the scene. Uh, we use, uh, from the drop-down, we use, uh, we select a crypto, we want to do like our back test. And we'll also like indicator the strategy or the indicator, and also like we provide a date range uh, to run our back test. So the backend, we use uh, Node.js uh, plus uh, Express.js. It is a lightweight Node.js uh, server. I mean, uh, and a lightweight Node.js uh, framework uh, that would make uh, easy to create uh, servers and. Uh, RESTful APIs as well. So we use Express and Node.js to implement uh, backend features like, uh, forget this uh, typo, backend features like API endpoints, creating a new back test topic, uh, querying the existing runs from the database and authenticating the user. So here's the folder structure of uh, our uh, backend specifically. So we have control, like we try to use the MVC uh, architecture, but without the V because we use the V, uh, like we use a separate, uh, like we created a RESTful API and we use a separate front end, React front end. So like we don't use like templating engines, anything like the, the view is not directly baked into the back end, uh, the back end, but it is like has the controllers, the routers and everything. So this is just a snippet of code uh, to show the authentication uh, logic. So what is next? Uh, so like, cause there, we haven't had the time to like implement all of the, the features that has been mentioned in, the, in this presentation. So we're looking forward to implement uh, trading bots uh, investment portfolio for the users to uh, like uh, know their uh, like uh, investments, their history of investments, and also push notifications to, uh, because like back this runs takes uh, uh, a little bit time if it is like a new run, if it is not cached. So uh, it's a, it would be uh, good to have a push notification whenever the uh, back this run is completed. So this is our uh, future, uh, yeah, uh, future like plan. And uh, this is my is there, is there a demo? Uh, unfortunately, uh, I couldn't. Uh, my VS Code uh, couldn't like connect to the instance, so it kept failing. So uh, I couldn't run the application. Yeah. This yeah. is, uh, is that only you? Because I feel like it's only you, group five. No, 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 no. About like, others. Uh, and I know, I know you are not, of course, but where yeah. are they? Who's uh, kind of I don't know. Uh, maybe, uh, this is like the previously, uh, this is the front end, but uh, this run way back. So if I refresh it, it will just stop working. Uh, uh, we, we don't. We, we only see the screen, the screen of the presentation. Not. Uh yeah. Okay. Now. So this is how we uh, select the crypto, and we also uh, implement the RSI and SME, uh, uh, the SME and RSI uh, strategies, and we, the user can uh, select uh, the date ranges like so, and run the back test. But uh, as I, I told you, it is not running. This is just, uh, if I refresh it, it will just crash because this is a previous run. It was a previous run. Uh, so uh, is there anyone from my team? Let me check. Want to say yeah, something? Who did once as well? Yeah, great, uh, Margaret. I think, yeah, Margaret is, just raising her hand. She's from my group. 
Um, hi, so just an update from my side. Um, for this week, my task, the first half of the week was to do EDA, and the second week was to work with Kafka Connect to try and um, connect the topics to the database. But the main problem I faced uh, when trying to connect to Kafka Connect um, was I was trying to install some packages from Confluent for the schema registry, but I checked the Ubuntu version that was on the instance is 20, but the the tool I was using was RPM to import, and I noticed that uh, it doesn't work for versions above 18 plus, and ours was 20. So, um, yeah, that was, I could not manage to complete craft. Okay. Anyone else? What were others doing? Like, so I think uh, we're the only ones in the group. I was just checking. I mean, the design is really beautiful, and the presentation it's long. Uh, but it's good. You could have shortened a lot. Uh, I mean, you could have focused exactly on the present, like the diagrams, and it would have been great. You know, just but you know, the, just taking into consideration the time would have really been. But overall, the presentation, the preparation is good. I was actually wondering why other people haven't pre kind of prepared uh, as much, like as much as what they probably have done. In a way, group four for me was, for example, I think everyone seems except, except we, we, in, in one case, I, I'm going, I'm sure group one is gonna be presenting now, but I would have liked exactly what I let Mikhail have done. Like people just talk, each of the group members talk. Uh, I think most of you probably did that, um, but and kind of, you know, prepared at least your part, what, what have you done and what what's, and then kind of, preparing for demo because ultimately that's important and maybe is that the and if it, you don't have a demo to also show okay you know that the reason is because you know the instance were up just only now and we didn't have time to prepare you know that would be just for from the preparation side but okay great uh, um let's go to group one if there is still if they have something to present um, either a demo yeah. or yeah go on. okay we can uh, go uh, I apologize for skipping the uh, turns we had some communication issues no and um, yeah okay so uh, yeah as any, everybody knows this week's tasks were uh, pretty straightforward it was designing a backtesting uh, engine for crypto trade and normal stock market trades so i wouldn't uh, i i there's no presentation we um we created but as i said there was some communication uh, error i would like to say and some of our uh, presenters were not able to present those who were actually uh, planning to present so um maybe let me just start from the uh, workflow plan or i mean uh, the general architecture we started to create uh, and also, I'm sorry for my voice. I'm a little uh, bit under the weather today. So, um, yeah, I think my screen is visible, right? Yeah, it's visible. Yeah, so this was the general uh, system architecture we created. So users will contact, commun sorry, communicate with the front end. They log in. And after they log in, they uh, input several parameters and stop trading options. And that will be sent to this uh, scene engine. This is the design created. So the scene engine is going to do one of two things. It's going to check if this 
uh, if the users um, inputted parameters are already in the uh, database, in this database. So that is going to be done by using another engine, the page engine. So this will go to the database and it will test, uh, it will check for the same parameters. And if there is nothing found there, it will return there's nothing found there. So the uh, scene engine will push these parameters to the backtesting engine. The backtest will create, I mean, these engines are generally inside the uh, Flask backend, so it's not nothing fancy, but uh, we just used the term engine to create this uh, difference between what the back end is actually doing. So after the backtest created this, uh, run this uh, backtesting engine, uh, sorry, after the back end created this uh, backtest results, it is going to actually push this to a Kafka topic. Uh, this is not the actual name, but this is just for demo. The topic's name was, uh, I think, results uh, uh, topic. So after that, uh, prior to that, uh, when the parameters were pushed to the backtest, they were also will be pushed to the since topic because we want to uh, reduce the amount of time users take if the scene is already uh, in the database. So uh, this uh, and Airflow will come here. It will uh, listen to these topics. So the ML engine is another, uh, sorry, I'm sorry uh, to go back. So the ML engine is another extension where it will uh, use this uh, scenes and it will run, uh, it will create this back testing engine it will use this uh, backtesting result and it will create some uh, actually predictions. This was actually not really implemented in the uh, final product, but we we tried to incorporate it to one uh, to some extent. We when I say ML engine here, I am trying to say this as a machine learning uh, uh, program, but everything has been recorded using ML flow. Okay, so. Uh, finally, when this uh, scenes topic, backtesting result and um, uh, machine learning results topic, this airflow will uh, consume or listens every, uh, every uh, we made it five hours, but it, you know, it can be three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, but just for uh, we, when we try to code this, we had some problems if it was really frequent, we had some uh, problems. So we just used the manual trigger. So after Airflow uh, consumes these topics, it will make some transformations, some uh, arrangements, and it will push it to the uh, database. So there are several tables on the database. We will see that. So this is basically the workflow plan. And uh, let's now go to the uh, front and back end. So uh, this is already uh, run. It's already running on the uh, AWS server, as you can see. I forward the ports for the backend, frontend, ML flow, and the uh, servers. But the problem is when I try to access these. Uh, I'm sorry, but it's it's it worked previously, but I don't know what's happening for in the backend. There are some problems right now, and this uh, when you you will input several stocks, uh, yeah, several stocks, several strategies starting and ending date, starting cache, and actually when you run the test, this will, this will have been populated. And as I said in this part, after this, this will be checked first in the database. And if they, that is uh, there, the results are simply going to be returned. But if not, the whole backtesting engine will run and everything will be, uh, will be uh, uh, recorded. So uh, this, this was our final product and I honestly, don't really know what happened at the last moment, but it worked previously. But when we were doing the task, we created this uh, Airflow DAC. As I told you, Airflow was used to uh, sit in between um, the database and the topics. So uh, initially, we created this producer and DACs. So basically, what the producer does is just produce simple uh, scene and result uh, uh, parameters. This is just for, this is just a dummy data. The actual data is coming from the, um, sorry, the, this, the backend. 
this is was going to be actually created uh, in the uh, backtest. So the consumer, on the other hand, will subscribe to this sense, will, will subscribe to this uh, results, right? This is the ML, uh, I'm sorry, this is the backtesting results. This will subscribe to, uh, maybe if I zoomed it a little bit too much. Yeah, you can see it, right? So the basic idea here is to subscribe to all the topics, to the ML results, to the results, to the actual backtesting result, and to the scenes, make some transformations, and this will load everything to its uh, appropriate database, right? So let's just uh, use the this consumer as a test. You know, this was how we created uh, everything. We this this is just for. Uh, and like actually for development purposes, there's this one. But the, as I said, the original scene and results is going to come from the backtest. But since the backtest, I'm sorry, from the backend, but since the backend is not working right now, I don't know, I don't really, really know what happened, but it worked at the last moment, it failed. So let's just run and see what this happened, what, what this uh, is uh, happening. So when this runs, it will listen for topics. So this is, as I said, a dummy, uh, topic so so this will produce so this will produce several uh, i'm sorry i got distracted by someone by someone okay so i just uh, hit this uh producer several times so this was listening to these scenes and as you can see here there are several assets created actually it's just one asset but the, you get the point, right? This is going, this also a result is generated and uh, this will be consumed by this, um, uh, by, this from, by this DAG and this DAG will make some transformations and it will load it to the DB. So this is loading it to the DB. Actually the assets, the cash, the strategy and everything will be uh, put in the database. So as you can see here, the uh, IDs, that were generated, um, sorry, uh, yeah, here, as you can, uh, just real quick, yeah, so this is the current ID that was uh, loaded into the database scene, as you can see, it is a Microsoft, uh, it is a Microsoft uh, stock that was generated by this dummy producer, and if we go to this uh, database we created, we can see this in action. It has actually been uh, created in the uh, database. It has been stored in the database. We basically used two uh, schemas, one for test and one for development. And we did everything on the development part. I mean, sorry, on the test part, but we didn't migrate it to the public uh, scheme. But I don't really think that matters. It matters in production sense, but for now, we can just see it from uh, here, right? And um, so, um, again, sorry for, uh, yeah. Yeah, as we can see, there are several uh, types of, um, there are several types of uh, backtesting results that are be, that has been loaded to this uh, database. So this is the parameters. Then the parameters are the, actually the scenes, the scenes table. So as you can see, the ID for this was Microsoft, and I, as I showed you, it has it was around seventy eight, uh, whatever money this is. This is actually generated randomly since it was created by this dummy producer uh, DAG. So as we can see here, the same data has been the same starting point and the same end point has been loaded in the database, and uh, this this is the parameter. As you can see, it is eighty two. The ID is 82 and the result is also recorded under the uh, parameter ID 82 and we can um, see this as the backtesting result that is created in the uh, in the uh, database. So for the last part, we we used uh, if we used ML flow just to log some uh, parameters and as we can see here, there are, uh, again I'm sorry for over zooming. I I think, I hope it is visible, right? Okay, so this, this were the three. Yeah, okay, so this were the three strategies we implemented. 
And as you can see, we created a lot, lots and lots of um, yeah um, uh, uh, logs. So we also used uh, MNflow to uh, load these things. And as I said, I'm uh, really sorry, this presentation could be better, but there was uh, some, uh, there was some uh, communication problem inside the group. And this is a last time presentation. So that is basically what we did. And anybody from uh, our group who likes to say anything about this project, what they learned, learning outcomes, several uh, things they did, now would be a good time. And this will conclude my presentation. As I said, again, sorry for this uh, last minute presentation. We could have met better. Yeah. It's good. It's actually, I like it. It's, you know, it's not about sometimes success as you expect it, but being able to overcome and then demonstrate from airflow was just good. So well done. And from anyone from Good one. Yeah, while we wait for this uh, other team members to say something, I really want to stress the, this last uh, moment at fetching from the database. It actually uh, used this scene table to check whether this uh, the same scene has been recorded or the same backlist result has been uh, done before and it was really fast if you put uh, this the same scenes or the same parameter but i really don't know what happened in the end um, as, you, as you see in the database everything that was created but was mostly used from the back end but i uh, don't know why it doesn't work yep. at the last moment no so it, it again, is okay we, we so great so is there any group who hasn't presented i think everybody has presented right or was was group three was there was from group three no home okay yeah no yeah yeah i think we uh yeah you you, you, you presented yeah exactly yeah yeah awesome wonderful i i mean overall you know i just want to say that if you were on my side or if you were just after a couple of weeks what you guys have done is fantastic right it is it, we no more are talking about things you are system architecting you know you are coming up with amazing solutions and yes they are some of them not complete but that's okay because that's only one week and you know with the similar intensity in a couple of weeks, you would really do something that is production ready, right? Um, and I like the diversity of qualities and kind of different strategies people use, their architecture, their design, um, and their focus. And I think this is, I, the only thing that I, I am, I would say just, I'm slightly a little bit disappointed is sometimes people don't talk. Like, you know, only few people, you're, you're not owning your work like if you are sitting and you're not saying supporting your group i mean you have to ask yourself like why like, because that's this is this is supposed to be a, a place where you can actually show and you know support say what you have done what you understood what you haven't understood it's not it's not like anything so that's the only thing but the rest you know it's really great um people are able past the level of like okay what am i doing to like you know am i they are excusing for like not doing it full and stuff like that this is this is a place to be so overall well done really good work a little bit of preparation would have helped in terms of presentation like you know who's presenting this is this is um important to be able to really come up organized and talk and and that would be just again that's because of maybe lack of time and because of other things but overall well done and congratulations i think that was that was a really good good work so i know we really ran out of all type of times um was there is there a hot seat no uh, there's no hot seat today we just uh
postponed it for tomorrow because the presentation will be really important. So okay. we can go on yeah. with the next. So game. then let, let's let's have 10 minutes break. And then at 40, I will start and I will try to make it short the challenge walkthrough. So yeah, so that you will not get um, overwhelmed. So in 10 minutes, I will start. All right. So if you think that then I'll be playing music, I will stop recording, then maybe we yes. start recording. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Stop recording, play music, and then 10 minutes I will be there. I will start the presentation. All right.